With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. This is Red Lantern Russell from Tomes of Evil. And you're listening to Sector 2814, a Green Lantern podcast. Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets in our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Perch, host of a Totally Turtle sports and gaming YouTube channel, and you're listening to the Occasion Lunatics Podcast Network. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight, but those who worship evil's might, beware my power, Green Lantern's light. Hello and welcome back to Sector 2814, the Green Lantern Podcast. I am Phil, joining me as always, Master of the Core. It is. I am Will. Hey, everyone. And today we're back with more Spectre. Jan DiMatteis' Spectre. Says we'll be covering Spectres 18 through 23. Because we, of course, love the Spectre. Good series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We even get a fill-in writer this time for one issue, too. Ostrander is back for one issue. Oh, cool. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> get a little compare and contrast here. <laughs> but no, we were talking. No big news on the Green Lantern front yet. I don't think we've gotten a solicit for any uh, of either of the new Green Lantern books coming soon yet. Yeah, I mean, we know that, uh, is it Mariko Tamaki? Is that? I believe so, yeah, yeah. We know that she's going to be the writer for the Hal Jordan book, but we don't know who the artist is. And we know that Philip Kennedy Johnson is going to be writing the Jon Stewart limited series, apparently, is what it is. Oh. That will come out later. I think I saw that it was a limited series. Man, we can't have two monthly series. One of them has to be a mini series. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had a we haven't had an ongoing series in a year. It'll be a, probably a year by the time we get the next uh, series. Yeah, which is just nuts. I mean. I was going to say, it's probably, it hasn't been like this since like the late 80s, but even when there wasn't a regular Green Lantern title, I mean, I, I mean, Action Comics Weekly as much as, <sighs> at least it was Green Lantern <laughs> content, you know. <laughs> That's true. It was Green Lantern content. Whether it was good is obviously, you know, up for debate. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, have you been reading uh, Mark Wade's uh, Super uh, Batman Superman World's Finest uh, comic? I've got a couple issues that I still need to get caught up on, I think. Uh, okay. Did you start anything with the uh, Boy Thunder? Uh... No, not yet. Okay. Okay. Because there's, there's a big spoiler. I mean, I think they already, people have been talking about it, but uh, yeah, Mark Wade is like, this is, he becomes a well-known character <laughs> for, <laughs> for something from a Mark Wade project. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> gotcha yeah uh, is dan moore still doing the art because that's oh yeah yeah beautiful yeah. art yeah mm -hmm. nice i think there might have been a fill-in or two for or like an issue or two but yeah yeah it's mostly been dan moore nice lots of dick grayson too in there and who phil i i didn't i didn't know you knew who that character was <laughs> hey man don't knock him man nightwing 100 came out <laughs> this week yeah and he was kind of the uh the star of a certain gigantic crisis that we just had. <laughs> oh, 2023 is going to be another year of Dick Grayson because uh, yeah, at the end, uh, yes, basically Superman, Wonder Woman, and then Batman ask him to like, basically, yeah, we're not going to reform the Justice League yet, right away yet. So uh, yeah, can you like lead everybody? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Gotcha. <laughs> so yes, yeah, probably basically going to be him and the Titans. The Titans. Because ah. they build a new tower in Bloodhaven, so. How yeah, there's been so many versions of the Titans, you know, by this point, how, 
how close are they to the Wolfman Perez Titans? It seems pretty close. It seems like we're going back to that maybe because it was like him, it's him, Starfire. Well, at least this was at the end of the Nightwing issue. It's it was him, Starfire, yeah. Donna Troy, Wally West, uh, Beast Boy, Raven, and uh, Cyborg. So cool, very cool. I think we're getting. I think we're getting back to that. <laughs> so is he and Starfire almost got married, but then that didn't happen. But then he and Barbara Gordon were a thing. But then it didn't happen. But it might be a thing. What's what's that look like now? <laughs> Bar- Barbara, Go- him and Barbara Gordon seem to be together again, and they're not. I don't think they're technically living together. But they're having lots of sleepovers. So, oh, okay. <laughs> but they kind of, kind of kind of treat the dog like their child. So eh, it's it's getting, okay. it's getting there. Cool. Tom Taylor doing good stuff there. Uh. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, like I told you, Guardians of the Galaxy, new stuff's coming, no quasars. Uh, so, yeah, that's disappointing, but mm-hmm. not necessarily that surprising. So, <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I've got. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's uh, there. We go. I think I've got Vegito up there. Oh, it might be above the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's above the camera. Darn it. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> that was a birthday present. So. Oh, nice. Very good. Even though I can't see it. <laughs> well, I could almost reach it, but I'd have to get up. So, you know. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, so, anything else going on? Um, have we heard anything about... Wasn't James Gunn supposed to have, like, the movie plans come out sometime this month? Um, in the new year maybe i haven't uh, there's been no announcement i know of, of any green lantern news um yeah i don't know i mean there was that thing for uh, that one week what was that like before christmas where they were just like like oh the, the green lantern show's canceled no it's not james gunn says no no idea no wait there's plans for green lantern so it's like is this a show is it a movie so yeah what what's going on does anybody actually know what's going on i don't know i don't know what's going on I think he's hinting now that some of the Guardians of the Galaxy cast members may follow him to DC because I think a lot of them are done with the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Ah, okay. Hmm. I can't see any of them being uh, Hal at this point. No. <laughs> and I'm searching Green Lantern now. Yeah, there's really nothing, nothing. coming up. Yeah. Yep. I saw. Oh, I saw someone else disappointed that the there was no announcement on the Hal Jordan book. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nothing. Ugh. Um, nope, 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 nope. Yes, it's bone dry. <laughs> hmm. All right. Oh, I was, I was, uh, it was interesting. I was, I was thinking about, you know, the, the Kyle era of the book, you know, pre rebirth, right? Mm-hmm. And, and kind of what that looked like. And it's weird. It kind of parallels a little bit, you know, the Legion of Superheroes because we had the reboot Legion mm. that have a definite, you know, beginning. And a definite end, you know, with Infinite Crisis. I see the Infinite Crisis? Yeah. yeah. And then they come back during Final Crisis with the you know, Legion of Three Earths. But, uh, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of interesting. You know, these big changes that were made, you know, 25 years ago lasted for about 10 years, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then there was change. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it means anything or it's just like, you know, I was just thinking about it the other day because... You know, the Legion was around for decades, literally, you know, what, 40 years, over 40 years. And then that Legion ended. You know, we read it. Uh, it was, uh, you know, the, the last six issue arc um, with Legion of Superheroes, Legionnaires and Valor. And then they completely rebooted it and restarted it. And then, you know, they ended it and then they rebooted it again. You know, the three boot Legion <laughs> had an even shorter run i think um but yeah i don't know i was just i just thought that was interesting and oh, yeah. you know i got nothing else man <laughs> all right well i mean well i mean we can jump into this because we do have uh six issues i don't i don't have uh any synopses mm-hmm. for these so we can like kind of <clears throat> take an issue out by issue or however you want to do it although those last what is it last three are kind of one big story yeah let's uh i don't know however you want to do it man all right, well, let's start with Spectre number 18. Here, I'll do the credits here. Uh, volume 4, number 18, from August 2002. Rebirth! Hmm. That name sounds familiar. 
Rebirth, uh, writer <laughs> JMT Mateus, penciler Norm Brayfogle, inker Dennis Jank, uh, colors Guy Major, letterer Jack Morelli, and editors Dan Raspler and Morgan Don Tan Don Tanville. All right, so, uh, and can I just say how disappointed I am that these still are not, uh, I believe these still aren't on DC, uh, in Universe Infinite. Or collected in a trade paperback or multiple trade paperbacks or an omnibus or, you know, hardcovers of some kind. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't want to spend all that money, but I was in the comic shop the other day and I saw they have like uh, that uh, the Jack Knight star man is like in like it's two omnibuses of uh, like the oh. whole collection. I was like, <gasps> nice. I remember buying that when it was coming out. I forget. It was, was it like 75 or more a piece? I was like, <laughs> Yeah, it's not only are they not cheap, but you can kill somebody with them, you know, because they are <laughs> big honking slabs of comics. I mean, if you want the entire run, it's probably a good price. But you know, I'm just like, mm-hmm. yeah. hmm. birthday list, hmm. Have a birthday in a few months. All right. Uh, oh yes, I, issue eighteen. I remember. Where is Abin, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we get more of Materna Mink Minx. Mm-hmm. Who's basically edu- educating Helen? <laughs> That's good. Yes. Fun. But yes, long story. <clears throat> long story short, this one, uh, Abin Sir's old friends want him to, well, his spirit to reincarnate and uh, be reborn as their child. And which is interesting. Yeah. And he, uh, he's like, well, do I want to? Re-? He's like, do I want to be re- uh, reincarnated? He's just like, it's like I'm gonna lose everything I am. That's Abin Sir. Uh huh. And then all of his previous and future incarnations come to him and say, you know, it's okay, dude. It's all right. Yeah, you've done this many times before. You're going to do it many times after. Mm -hmm. And were you as, uh, I guess, delighted as I was to see, you know, the Spectre rebirth? (laughs) I know, that was funny. Rebirth. (laughs) I did chuckle at that a little bit. Oh, yes. We also get to start of real quickly. Uh. Uh, St- Stigmonis, uh resurrecting somebody. <laughs> I wonder who. Hmm. Who could that be, Phil? Buried I mean, he the, has buried in the reddish earth? skin. <laughs> oh, but we'll get there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, 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 I've been enjoying these uh, stories by Mister Demetrius. But yeah, just like Abin Sir and How having like you know just just like discussion about reincarnation and you. Know, mm-hmm. Hmm. Happens just like, yeah, many traditions on many worlds speak of the soul's continuity, the joy of reincarnation as we move from life to life, but I don't see the joy in it. But yeah, I, well, what do you think of that one? How's like, I would leap at the chance if it was offered them, you know, to live again. Yeah, and then, and uh, a certain, you know, Miss Minx shows up and said, Oh, really? <laughs> mm. Stop spying on your, stop spying on your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, we'll get there, too. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think we ever saw yet, though. Who Minx has said, she said she had a date with someone. I don't think we ever saw that, did we? I don't think so. But yeah, I mean, this was, I feel like these issues, while good, aren't as strong as those early issues that were less tied to continuity, I guess, you know? Oh, yeah, especially when we see who gets resurrected. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Does, it, does it seem like, I don't know, I don't know if there's pressure on behind the scenes, but do you think either, either Jamie either Dimitri's idea or if he's getting pressure from editorial but is there is there a uh, thought here of uh yeah you need to tie this more to the continuity especially how jordan continuity maybe i mean i don't know it's i mean he's he did bring back well sorry that's a spoiler um he brought back one of his villains yes. for the series but uh i mean they the stories don't seem to have as many layers when he's dealing with the continuity of Green Lantern and, and Hal Jordan as the, the stories where he's freed, you know, from pretty much all continuity or sometimes, the, you know, barely shows up, you know, it's, I don't know, but uh, I mean, it's not, it's certainly not bad. It's still good. I mean, I very much enjoyed, you know, the, these issues. Oh yeah. And we'll get another issue like that. in uh, what two issues from now, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I enjoyed it, but well, we said, we said goodbye to Abin, and but yeah, it's that whole resurrection that's looming over our heads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, number nineteen. That uh, hold on, let me pull that up. See, so again, the issues. But I, I think, uh, 
Yeah, that's the uh, Austrianer one, right? Is it the dark side one? Yeah, number 19, I think. Okay. You want to go ahead and jump to it? I mean, you know, Aubin says yes, and... Oh, yeah, yeah. And basically, yes, it was reincarnated. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was quick. <laughs> but yeah, Spectre, Va- uh, number 19, September 2002, The Equations of Light and Darkness by writer John Ostrander, penciler Norm Brayfogle, inker Dennis Jank, uh, Guy Major, colorist letter Bill Oakley, and Dan Raspler and Steve Wacker, editors. Uh... Yeah, so, yeah, kids, if you if if you didn't uh, get the idea, but yeah, it's Dark Side and the New Gods. Mm-hmm. And again, you know, i I really don't feel I really don't feel like the New Gods work as part of the DC universe. They, I feel like they should stand on their own. You know, I mean, they've of course they've been a part of the DC universe from the beginning. I just I really don't like how they've been used with green lantern and i don't know that i let's just put it this way i don't feel like the new gods are for me how about that yeah i (laughs) I mean i get maybe it's a kirby thing but i mean new gods and eternals over at marvel i'm just always like it always seems out of place when they try to make them interact with the rest of dc Mm -hmm. and marvel it's to me and again yeah yeah i'm sorry sorry, i was gonna say in this whole story i mean i know it's a guest writer but it's just like Except for that quick, like, vision, like, Kyle kind of has when he goes into the source. And, you know, it's like, <gasps> am I on Noah's? Are you the old timer? Besides that, I mean, it's almost like this could be any Spectre, not even Hal Jordan. Yeah. But again, I, guest, guest writer, I don't know if you don't want to write. Because, again, you can't make any big continuity changes anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It. I mean, and the Ostrander Mandrake Spectre was an awesome series. Mm-hmm. But it was complete. It wasn't complete. It was... It had much more, I think, of a of a horror bent to it than this series, which you know is about redemption. But ultimately, you know, it's not that different because they redeemed, you know, Jim Corrigan, mm-hmm. you know, with the Spectre. So, and Ostrander's a great writer too. It's just that it's this sticks out as very much different than the issues before it and the issues after it <laughs> about that <laughs> yeah 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 and again it's like you don't want to like interrupt jamie jam is in the middle of something and who knows if this is just like a inventory story off the shelf so it could have been written whenever and it's just like well we need it here so you really don't want to get into like where Hal's at but yeah the new god thing's always weird to me and it's just like i don't think i've ever gotten is metron supposed to be a good guy or a bad guy Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's driven only in the search for knowledge. He'll do. I mean, and I, I don't know a lot about the new gods because, again, they've never really appealed to me. Yeah, but, uh, me neither. He's a gray character, I think. Yeah. But I mean, this whole this story was kind of like depressing because it's like, oh, yeah, hell, sa- hell saves that girl from apocalypse. Well, it's like Metron takes her back. Dark side's about to execute her and. You know, they kind of trick him into like, oh, no, she's exiled to Earth. And then meanwhile, what? She tries to become an artist on Earth and can't get work. And Yeah. <laughs> that's basically how it ends. It's just basically well, like a rejection letter. It's like, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She 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 can't find work on Earth. Is that supposed to be more horrible than living on Apocalypse? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, unless, unless it's because it looked like she was in New York City, but mm-hmm. I don't know. It was it, it was different. I'm not saying it was bad. Yeah, I mean, it was still a, it was still a good story. I thought, but it was not. I mean, except for that thing in the source, real quick. It really it wasn't as metaphysical as like Jamie Mateus does because yes, this was exactly. how this was how basically literally saving physically saving someone instead of like you know working through the soul or you know. Mm-hmm. a higher plane yeah and so yeah it was it was an interesting kind of meander and you know and then we get back to, to kind of the normal specter series with the next issue yes all right do you want to do the next one <laughs> let's go let's do it all right <laughs> yeah i mean not even just this issue but i think uh I think that's what you're saying before it's like yeah some of these issues it's like a different tone than some of the, like the first what year of this book mm-hmm. yeah so for the first year first year and a half of this book was really 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 strong and these aren't bad i just don't think they're living up to quite that 
what was established, you know, the, the level of quality that was established in those first, you know, year, year and a half. I should maybe try to get Dave Mateus back and be like, you know what? <laughs> was there any editorial pressure? <laughs> All right. So issue 20, my perfect life. Uh, same creative team as the first one. All right. Let's open this up. Oh, yes. This is the one. Yeah. Because the guy, you know, going to work thinking he has the perfect life. And mm -hmm. and that seems very much like, a, you know, like something we would have seen in the first year and a half. I mean, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it kind of reminded me of the vampire one almost. Yeah, a little bit. Because the guy just keeps seeing the specter like the specter is haunting him. And it's just like, why mm -hmm. is the specter haunting this guy? Mm, but yeah works good he loves his job and then he goes he's off to dinner with his wife and you know freaks out when he sees the specter and he basically goes to see a, a therapist and he's asking about his childhood and he's telling me how, how he has like the perfect childhood mm. and again the specter shows up again he runs to his parents and then how mm -hmm. but then it's like all of a sudden he's like wait a minute his father's not like this he's not like an angry alcoholic what is going on mm. and then his mother's dead but then his mother's alive. Yeah. Then it's like he, he has a son and then he doesn't have a son. Yeah. And, he, had a per, he had a perfect marriage, but then it wasn't so mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, what is going on here? And he's like seeing specters everywhere. Uh, he's back at this psychiatrist, but it's a therapist, but it's a different person. Is that supposed to be how, you know, I don't think so. Cause he, had, <laughs> he has like the gray hair. I was didn't know if that was supposed oh, yeah. to be how. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. And he tells him though, you died. You had a heart attack and died. And, you know, ba basically, uh, yeah, when his soul crosses over, has a chance to relive the life they left behind, perfect it, so. He did, but then he wouldn't leave it. He well, he, he stayed. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, over and over and over again. He's like, how long has it been? And Hal was just like, well, if you measure it by the way they measure time on Earth, yeah, you've been in there 15 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he said, he, he, Hal kept showing up because he's like, I tried to nudge you gently awake, but you kept resisting me. So much to my regret, I had to enter your dream more directly and shock you out of it. So I guess it's like a whole metaphysical thing about how, like, it does, you know, time acts differently. Um, yeah. Because I'm like, wait a minute, he he hasn't been the Spectre for 15 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's... Unless he just came in now. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's... either he sensed it or like, you know, heaven told him it's like, oh, hey, this guy's been in here for 15 years. 15, yeah, exactly. But no, yeah, that was a good one. It, remind, it did remind me of the vampire one, mm -hmm. which I again, it's it's Demetrius. But I wonder, was this like another fill in one? Because, again, it's like it didn't like progress any of the story we saw in the first one forward, like the dead body or, you know, the resurrected mm -hmm. body or even Helen or any of that. Yeah. Yeah, Which I don't mind. Kinda... I don't mind, but it's just a, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> once again, like the vampire one. It's like it could almost not be a specter story. It to, you know, mm. but then yeah, he marches this guy in the head. He takes this guy to heaven, and, uh, and the guy's like, "What about you? Uh, you coming too?" And then Hal's like, "My work is on Earth. I'll find my heaven here." <laughs> so yeah, um, out of all six of them, I, this might be one of my. This might be my favorite one this week. Mm. Yeah, I, I think I would agree with that. Yeah. The other one. I think I would put the, the yeah. Ostrander one probably at the bottom. Yeah. 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 And then the last three are like one big story, but it's like, I, I don't know that. I, like I said, I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> like, like how, how continuity works with uh, the upcoming re, uh, Green Lantern rebirth, which hmm, I think I, I think I know someone who's, who's read that a lot and who may, may be able to. <laughs> we'll have to talk about that. <laughs> yes. Mm, all right so oh hey did you um i was gonna say this like this kind of story in this issue kind of reminds me of like quantum leap like someone like trying to like better people's lives but this guy, guy's yeah. better, bettering people's afterlives yeah exactly <laughs> but and the, we don't get the next episode until what the uh the monday after this one coming up yeah yeah did you did you see the last one did you see the end of the last yes. one? Oh my god mm -hmm. did you see who uh one of the people was in that elevator no i missed that Robert Picardo, the doctor from Voyager. Oh yes, yes, that's right. Yes, uh, that was the preview for next, the next episode. Yes, right? yeah. yeah, that's right. I think it says like the explosion keeps happening, so he keeps leaping into everyone who's in there. So at, well, at some point, he's gonna leap into Robert Picardo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Someone just has to call that guy doctor. All right, all right. So should we jump get to the next one? You bet. All right. 
All right, the Spectre number twenty-one, November two thousand and two. Wow, the title kind of gives it away. The title kind of gives it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids, spoilers. The Resurrection of Sinestro, Part 1, <laughs> Stigmonus and Son. Wow. Right, yeah. Still DeMatteis, Norm Breyfogle, Dennis Jank, Guy Major, Letterers, Bill Oakley and Kurt Hathaway, and editors Dan Rasper and Valerie Ferrazio. All right, so I guess we could just jump right to it. So they told us Sinestro's back. <laughs> uh, sir, so were you kind of Andy shocked? Is. Were you kind of shocked when you saw that? <laughs> Yeah, not really, no. <laughs> You're like, this isn't supposed to happen yet. <laughs> well, and from a continuity you know, standpoint, Sinestro was never never dead. Exactly, right? so... exactly. <laughs> so that's what I was, that was going to be my question. So when Rebirth rolls around, does, doesn't Sinestro say that was like a clone or something or some kind of weird... Or phantoms to drive him mad, I think is what he says. You know, we tormented him. Mm. Parallax and I tormented him or something. Yeah, I, I, I think... Because I was going to say, if it was like some kind of like clone or something, I'm like, could that be that what Stigmonus resurrects and, you know, it thinks it's Sinestro? I don't know. I mean, he seems to be pretty effective at being, you know, Sinestro-y. And, and, why, was, <laughs> and why was he, and supposedly why, was there, did I miss something? Why was he buried on, was he buried on Earth? Because didn't, how killed him on Oa? Uh, yeah, I didn't know, was that Oa that we were shown first or was that near his temple? I thought it was, it looked like somewhere on Earth, I thought. I mean. I don't know. And, and, and once Oa again, and, uh, once again, Oa had been destroyed in Reed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, maybe it was just there for convenience sake, you know. I maybe. Mean, I was yeah. going to say, did, did it, when he became the Spectre and was like trying to atone, did he like bury Sinestro or who what he thought was Sinestro? It doesn't seem very parallaxy, but you know, whatever. Well, like I said, <laughs> I, maybe after he became the Spectre or something, but Oa had been destroyed by, the, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just not think too much about it. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this one opens with Hal kind of uh, watching uh, Carol and her husband from outside the house. Yeah, he's he's a creeper. <laughs> yep. And, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, oh, what's her face shows up. And uh, I don't know. Do you think there's something sinister about her or no? Materna? I think we're supposed to think that there's something sinister about her. But yeah. I think, so like, you know, maybe... Maybe it'll be revealed later that, you know, it's not. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't know how the, you know, I don't know how this ends. So. Yeah, me neither. Because I'm just like, is she supposed to be sinister or just a cosmic, en- you know, just mm-hmm. mysterious cosmic entity? Or why not both? Yeah. Mm. And then, of course, we see Stigmonis uh, with this resurrected life form. <laughs> <laughs> Basically runs away. And sh- uh Oh man, but that title page, <laughs> the resurrection of Sting of uh, Sinestro with that, uh, <laughs> he's barely there. Yeah, just parts of him, and then you know we get different parts later. You know, like the spike. Yeah. <laughs> or again, it's like, um, doesn't Materna say something? The Stigmonus in a was it the next issue or the issue after? It's like you know, how are you here? You're still in that globe. It's like, did you kind of jump from like a the past or the future? Or something is. Maybe could Stigmonis have done that? Pulled Sinestro from another time or even like an alternate time? I, I don't know. Who knows? It's well, not... once again, Sinestro was supposed to be dead at this point. I get it, but they should have mentioned it in Rebirth. Exactly. Well, and you know, I, I feel like, you know, we can talk more about, we can talk more about this during Rebirth, but I feel like John's had to really kind of focus. Yeah. And, and you know, he didn't necessarily dismiss all of the Spectre series by J.M. DeMatteis, but I don't think he really had room to expand on it. He, you know, he kind of stripped everything back to the core that he needed to tell the story that he oh, had yeah. for Rebirth, right? And I, to be honest with the story that he was telling, I don't know that a lot of this would fit anyway, right? Yeah. It would have just confused or muddled things potentially. But, you know, he didn't go out of his way to say, no, that never happened. Yeah, because again, I wasn't reading this at the time, and it just seems weird because they never kind of mention what's happening in this book. Because anytime he shows up in uh, the Green Lantern book, the Cal, it's just like, oh, hey, how's the Spectre? And it's like, you you know, I, I had no idea what was going on in this book. They, ne- I don't remember them like promoting this book at all. There's no ads, nothing. I'm just because, you know, every once in a while he'd pop up with the Green Lantern book. I'd be like, oh, yeah, doesn't the Spectre have a book? I'm like, I wonder if it's still going, you know, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Well, and. You know, there's a uh, there's a somewhat prophetic exchange between Sinestro and Hal, mm-hmm. 
uh, in uh, issue 23. You know, he says, you are, uh, when they're fighting, uh, uh, the ring belonged to Green Lantern, but I'm not. And he goes, yes, you are. You are, you were, you always will be. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of interesting. <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. But then, yeah, we see uh, Hal going through his little uh, castle here and uh, talking to his different aspects. And, oh, yeah, Stigma mm-hmm. is still in there. And then it's like, oh, hey, here's a door I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> what he said, it's not necessarily strange because uh, the whole temple's manifested from my own consciousness. So. But, yes, he falls through. And as he's falling, he well, basically goes from Spectre to change. Looks like he changes back to Hal Jordan. <laughs> Oh, God. And then we got Stigmonis and uh, Sinestro having dinner. And Sinestro can't remember much, but all he remembers is, yeah, he wants to kill Jordan. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jordan. Yeah. You know, which I, is, of course, somehow Jordan. It's, it's really interesting because there's a scene, what is it, Dark Knight's Metal or Dark Knight's Death Metal, where there's a scene between Hal and Sinestro, and Hal says something along the lines of, you know, how, how could you think? You know, we were ever friends, and Sinestro says, but we'll always be friends. <laughs> Which is really this kind of, it's, it's a really interesting relationship that that's much less, well, it's much more subtle, subtler uh, than, you know, this, this you know, just straight up hatred we have between them. And I think that's something that, you know, John's really established, you know, post-rebirth. Yeah, I think, yeah, so a lot of times it's always portrayed as just like, yeah, you know, he's like, yeah, Hal Jordan's just isn't isn't it isn't totally an enemy it's just like oh no that poor boy is just you know believes all the lies the guardians fed him and stuff and yeah yeah <laughs> oh yeah i think and again it's and this i don't know if this just part of sinestro or even just again a demon or a clone <laughs> that thinks it's sinestro oh yeah because he seems like mo- all rage here mm, so yeah stigmonis is giving him that oh yeah and then, he, and then stigmonis pulls out a yellow ring yeah, and it's a green, it's a Green Lantern symbol ring that's yellow. Did you notice that? <laughs> yeah, he's, he, uh, he's yeah. So, because didn't he say something about uh, oh uh, uh, oh yeah, I got I got this little goodie I dug out of a box of Owen Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks. <laughs> but yeah, it's a yellow power. Hey man, it looks like a regular Green Lantern ring. Yeah, you're right, and it, but it's yellow. So I wonder if this is a real ring or if just, just again something Stigmonis like came up with or or just a symbol, you know that. Who knows? <laughs> and again, uh, I mean, again, I mean, the comment was made about him, like, can you know, go either be being able to travel through time. So could Stigmonis have picked this up somewhere, someone else? I don't know. I don't know. Well, and, you know, all of this is happening, but is it actually happening? You know, what level of reality is it happening on? Yeah, because the, ha- yeah, because is, well, are you saying this is happening where Hal's at? Is that what you're saying? Is it happening there? Is it happening above reality, below reality, in some uh, metaphysical realm? Yeah. I mean, it could be anywhere, anything, kind of, you know, with the, with the Spectre concerned. That's true. That's true. Because Stigmonis could be should be like, here, I'm going to give you some little bit of power boost. And yeah, let me give you a, to you in a form you're familiar with. Yeah, I, I, I could buy that. Mm. But then, yeah, then we see Howl's basically... Uh, I don't think they ever... Do they call it out? But is this supposed to be Coast City? They show him I in a city. So. They show him, yeah, in a city. But I don't yeah. know if they ever like come out and name check it. But you know, I, I don't know. I feel like this particular story, the resurrection of Sinestro, fits more toward the beginning of the Spectre series. You know, kind of in tone and yeah. the you know stuff that happens versus where it is now. Because you know, a lot. You know, we had such great stories in those early year and a half. You know, and this is like it almost seems like he's having doubts, like Hal's having doubts or something. Yeah. This should have been in the beginning. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think it, I feel like it should have been, you know, more in the beginning. I guess we were saving Sinestro for a uh, year two. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, yeah, Hal's in the city and oh, he's he's a Green Lantern. So he's not Green Lantern because I think, yeah, they, they said it's Guy here. So interesting in his fantasy, he makes uh, Green Lantern Guy. It's Guy and not John. Mm-hmm. Well, he was the. Well, yeah. First choice. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. And then he's married to Carol, I guess. And they have children. And every Friday night, they have his family over. Oh, then he sees Helen. And he's like, kind of shocks. But like, Helen? It's like, she's like, what? <laughs> oh, but then who's that outside? Green Arrow and Martian Manhunter. 
So something's going on here. Uh, oh, but then Stigmonis is still talking to Sinestro, shows him his supposed death. Because once again, if that was all a uh, setup, I mean, that shouldn't really anger. I mean, that shouldn't anger Sinestro and Stigmonis shouldn't have fell and fallen for that as a cosmic entity that he is. Yeah. <laughs> again, I will. Again, I'm I'm the head head canning it. He's he's revving this clone up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, and then he leads them to Hal Jordan's uh, little temple. Oh, Sinestro blasts Materna. Again, I mean, how cosmic is Materna? Should it po- would a regular power ring like knock her down? I'm like, so maybe this is something more than a yellow power yeah. ring? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, then he's like threatening Helen, basically like, uh, no whimpering or I'll kill you without a second thought. That's not a threat. That's a promise. <laughs> And then, but then the specter intervenes, and it, oh, it's a female specter. Yeah, anti specter. Anti Hal. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. So, should we jump to the next one? You bet. Let's do it. All right. Specter twenty two, December two thousand two, the resurrection of Sinestro, part two, La Femme Specter. <laughs> and I believe that's the same team. All right. Let me open up that one. All right. So. Yeah, how, we see how again waking up in uh, bed, uh, and then we get a uh, stigma, and it's all about this. this is a dream. But then what is it? It's, it's all a dream. But then it's when Hal's in the other room. Yeah, Green la- or Green Arrow and Martian Manhunter are there. Yep. And then we see yes, that uh, that female aspect of the sp- uh, Specter going at it with uh, Sinestro. Uh huh. And losing badly. <laughs> I love how he's like, how, the, how the Spectre's like, you have no idea what I'm capable of now. And Sinestro's like, you're Jordan? <laughs> I don't want a reflection. I want Jordan. I want the Green Lantern of Earth. I love how the Spectre's like, Green Lantern's dead. Get over it and throws him like the Earth. <laughs> or wherever the Spectre threw him. Mm. But yeah, that's when Anti-Spectre checks on Helen and Materna's all right. And then, yeah, the Spectre figures out it's Stigmonis. And then Martian Manhunter and Green Lantern are... Green- Green Arrow are interrogating Hal, and Martian Manhunter reads his mind. It's like, there's nothing there. It's just nothing, yeah. <laughs> he knows less than we do, because I guess they keep having the same dream, and it's just like, what, it's not Guy Gardner, it's Green Lantern, it's Hal Jordan. He tells him to leave, and they kind of disappear. And Stigmonis is still messing with Sinestro. Oh, decapitates him. Yes, and then puts him on a stick. <laughs> uh-huh. You are the miracle now, Sinestro. Uh, you are the power ring. You are the battery, but only if you will it. Is that like be the ball? <laughs> but then we see, yeah, all the aspects of the Spectre are kind of like, like it's dying because without Spectre Prime, aka Hal Jordan, there's like nothing to hold them yep. together. Because even Stigmona says, oh, you're not looking yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't try to understand me or fail, fathom the depths of my heart. I'm a mystery, my lady, even to myself. But the Spectre's like, you can't let Sinestro lose something. <laughs> And then back to Hal's little reality. Yeah. Um, so I guess Tom is uh, the the big pilot for Ferris pilot. now. Yep. Yeah. I love Hal. There's like no one I'd want in that cockpit. Else I'd want in that cockpit. Well, will expect myself. <laughs> oh, but then uh, Hal has to go. He has a meeting with Wayne Enterprise. <laughs> uh, yeah, that uh, Bruce Wayne is, uh, you know. Uh... Is cunning and relentless, she says. <laughs> Batman. My favorite character. <laughs> But then he sees Green Arrow, who pins him to the wall with some arrows. Mm. Who basically, uh, before, didn't he, he didn't have the goatee. Now he has the goatee. Mm. Every night I go to sleep and you're there. And you're. And the weird thing is we're friends, partners. And the and the world we're living in is a thousand times more real than this one. But then, oh, Green Arrow kind of gets killed by Sinestro. Yeah. <laughs> and so does a certain other, uh, well, a certain two other <laughs> Justice oh, yeah, Leaguers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah, Sinestro's just going on about how how murdered him, and how's like I don't remember that. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. And Sinestro's like, you remembered Green Arrow for two seconds. He's like, you remember me? Uh, but then we see Stigmonis at the end, standing there with uh, the Spectre, look, looking like not the Hal Jordan Spectre, but uh, looking like the Jim Corrigan Spectre. Exactly. Interesting. All right, so should we get to the last part so we can talk this out as a whole? Let's do it. <laughs> Spectre, Spectre number 23, January 2003. Life is but a dream. Same team. All right. And let's see. What is with this cover? This cover is, was very misleading, I feel. Oh, yeah. The covers have been just 
Not bad, really, but like it's not, as good. Not as, really having anything to do with the interior art. I mean, they're they're nice, but they're they're just. I mean, twenty three is like a guy sitting there trying to eat a diamond or something. I'm like, what is this? Yeah, <laughs> it almost looks like you. You would think you're just looking at that cover. It's like, oh, the Spectre's going to deal with some guy who's like full of greed or something. And uh, but yeah, then we see the we're back to Stigmonus and uh, Hal or the Spectre talking, and then we see Hal emerge from the rubble as Green Lantern. Still confused. Mm-hmm. It's a nice chunk of uh, yellow knife through his chest too. <laughs> oh yeah, because Sinestro's like, no, he's like, you're, we're gonna go, we're gonna start where we left off on Oa. I mean, this time things are running a little differently, and but then how hits him back. That's the spirit punch and hit, kick and claw. It's the only way to live. Sinestro tells him. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. You're the man who murdered me. And how still like, there's some mistake. This costume. I'm not Green Lantern. Yes, you are. You are, like you said, you are, you were, you always will be. And no world you create, no place you hide, no memories will erase. You erase will ever change that. But I can't destroy you if you don't remember everything. Because he's like choking how out. <laughs> Abin, sir, the core, my murder, and your own Richard death. My death? Your death. He throws him to the ground. But yeah, Materna, yeah, back at the uh, temple sees that, yes, it looks like Stigmonus is still in his bubble. But yeah, she sees another Stigma. But you in the bubble. Uh, I just... Oh, yeah, is, uh, what is it? You were uh, something about dance. Uh, you time danced, yeah, from a distant yeah. past or far future. Well, And they know each other, so she's of the same yeah. whatever that Stigmonis is. So, yeah, well, the, the Q Continuum's having their little talk here. Uh, so does he kill Materna? Oh, no, wait. It almost looks like he kills Materna. I think he knocks her out. Well, yeah, we do hear a crack, but I don't know if it... Mm-hmm. So I was going to say, do we see her at the end? I don't... Or after that, I'm sure it's gonna be one of those things. Even if he like killed her form, she's gonna be back somehow. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Sinestro is still like how telling how is like I killed you, but here you are clutching your hand of your lady love, confused. Yes, alive in a way. But yeah, he kind of knocks Carol away, but then she gets caught by Wonder Woman. The Justice League's arrived. Yep. <laughs> and they're uh, where's Green Arrow? The Martian Manor picked up his presence and then it vanished. And Tal's like Sinestro murdered him, but then. After having his neck snapped, uh, Green Arrow gets up and it's like, uh, it appears I didn't stay dead. <laughs> mm, and Batman, we were, a little while ago, we were flying here. Gardner disappeared one second. He was right there beside us. And the next, it was uh, he was simply erased. Even now, I'm finding it difficult to remember what he looked like, what he sounded like. Should, should have been like, what his chin felt like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On my knuckles. <laughs> Although I'm assuming in this reality it was guy, you know, if guy had the ring from the beginning, he didn't get hit in the head with a tr- of the bus or have yeah, a battery or explode any in his of those face. things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, then Sinestro kind of walks up Superman and blows him up. Yeah, that's uh, poor, poor Supes. Also, but, but, poor our friend, you know, Batman. I was gonna say he does the impossible. <laughs> he does the impossible. He kills Batman. Uh, Batman, my favorite character, and I see Chunk. <laughs> Well, he must kill the whole Justice League. So I see chunks of like Wonder Woman and Flash's costume too. So yeah, <laughs> uh, but then the the uh, Spectre steps in and uh, telling Sinestro his incursion's gone far enough. Uh, Sinestro's like, you know it all, don't you? He dreamed you into this world as kind of a failsafe device. Yeah, the different different Spectre. This is it, it gets really kind of. Well, I think it's more spirit of vengeance than uh, redemption yeah. because Hal's not in there. It's like pure specter because yeah. he goes, my creator called me the spirit of vengeance and basically like eats Sinestro. Yeah. And then chops him into pieces. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spectre's like, what else you got? You know? Yeah. Uh, there's something you don't understand. I'm not going to be I'm going to let anyone or anything, not even the great and powerful specter get between me and my goal. Uh, on a projection of his mind not an aspect of his power but the real thing and Spectre's like there's something you don't understand I am Al Jordan <laughs> I am his will and man of imagination I am the force that manifested this place from desires he hid even from himself I am the creator the, the, the preserver and the destroyer he chops up Sinestro but Sinestro mm-hmm. puts himself back together and Sinestro says we'll keep coming back here we go Here, here's a here's a no true words Sinestro I, but I am cosmic spite <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After I'm done with Jordan, I tend to stick around the universe for a very long time, inflicting pain on all creation. See, that's what I'm saying. Now he's saying he's just gonna like terrorize everything in in creation for this for her, yeah. the sheer thrill of it. I'm like, that's not Sinestro. Sinestro's about order. I mean, that's that's what he's always been about. And if nothing and... else, this is a little too emotional to be Sinestro. 
yeah. I mean, and you know who says it is? Maybe it's just, you know, this is all within the specter, different aspects, blah, I mean. And again, I know it's a, it's like upcoming retcon, but isn't the parallax still in there too? Theoretically, yes. Yeah. So maybe this this is parallax, Jack. You know, and actually that, that makes that, you know, we did torment him, mm-hmm. you know, with visions that this this could be, you know, John's, you know, bringing this into continuity, this part of the Spectre series into continuity, yeah, but just, by making it, you know, just a quick sentence stuff, or two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's Parallax trying to get him to give in the anger because we know, you know, anger leads to hate, hate leads to the dark side. <laughs> Wait, fear, fear. fear. <laughs> so they're, all, they're, fear all bugs, they're all in there. They're all in there. Yes, but I'm just saying. At the end of the day, he wants to push. How, it wants to push how Jordan to anger and oh, yeah. fear, and yes, mm-hmm. so it, he gives in. But yeah, know how basically uh, what merges with the Spectre and space like I can't allow this to go on. Uh, and then uh, yeah, pure Spectre's like, no, let me handle this. And pal, to sleep, back to my dream. I wish I could. I wish I could stay there forever, happy and free. But I can't. I made a vow to God and myself. I'm not how Jordan anymore. I don't deserve to be. Not till I redeem myself. Uh, yeah, Sinestro's laughing. He's like, "What's well, something you find amusing? To hear the man who murdered me, decimated the core, left the corpses of the guardians of the universe strewn across Oa, talk about compassion." <laughs> but Hal says, "Yeah, I'm like you. I've learned from my ordeal, from my guilt and sorrow and shame. I've changed." See, it's it's interesting because you know, is is this a retcon? Is this not a retcon? You know, how we see Hal killed two people. Yeah, right. One of them wasn't real. One of them was, you know, some kind of Sinestro fake thing, whatever, you mm-hmm. know. We do see him kill Kilowog, right? So that's, but I I don't think we saw him kill any of the other Green Lanterns. Did he kill the Guardians, though? Even if it, even just absorbing the power killed them? Did did he? I don't know, because... I mean, there were bodies that supposedly Ganthet Gant was the only one until we got baby Guardians last week. Exactly. So, yeah. I don't know. It's... I, I feel like during this era, pre-rebirth, everybody assumes he killed all the, the GLs that he fought in space. When, yeah. when, when Sinestro said decimated the core, the core had 20 members at this point, right? If, if that many. Something like that, yeah. 12, 13, something like that. And we saw Kilowog, you know, that was, we saw Kilowog get blasted and then we saw him break Sinestro's neck again so, I think everyone always then, assumed he stole all the power so all the ones that were like he left a bunch some of them floating in space it's like oh yeah their rings cut out in the middle of space yeah but there weren't any other I mean there were just the 12 that he had recruited and those were sent to stop him yep and he took their rings now did he kill them when he took their rings post rebirth the answer is no <laughs> pre pre rebirth I, I feel like awesome. everybody Everybody says he just killed everybody. You know, he's a mass murderer at this point, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's it's interesting. Yes. And I would go on record. I think he may – this might be controversial, but I think he did us a public service by smacking Jack T. Chance, Jack T. Chance around. <laughs> I'm not necessarily going to disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so basically all the Spectre aspects come back because, hey, you know, Hal, now Hal's back. They're all, you know. Mm-hmm. Full power. Yep. And pretty much, I mean, it appears literally Sinestro gets dragged back to hell. He chooses it. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Not not to get all, you know, literary here, you know. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. <laughs> exactly. And again, is that, again, is that Parallax and, you know, we'll messing Sinestro with, yeah. through Parallax messing with Pal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, because ultimately, you know, it, it's Hal fails to, you know, redeem him. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it kind of fits with you know Parallax messing with him. Hey, look, you uh, you you couldn't do this one. You know, it's it's, and, it's a hit. And again, maybe that's why they don't reprint this thing because just continuity. Because it's it's like Hal's basically rocking you know power from God right now. Shouldn't he see through? It's like, oh yeah, that's not really Sinestro. Or, or shouldn't he see that? Hey, I'm infected with a you know cosmic uh, yeah fear bug. Don't uh, you think? Don't you think they wanted the job? God would be like, ah oh, yeah, let me get this out of here. I, I feel like that's the problem when you introduce like God into the, you know like a something like this becomes, it's like becomes a character you know and then you have to have motivations right <laughs> so, no but then but then it's like if something goes wrong it's like well why didn't God stop that why didn't you know yeah why didn't it stop Parallax John's makes a 
Inspector merged with Hal to to rip Parallax from his, you know, and yeah. graft it onto his soul, basically. So maybe, you know, Parallax just hid that information from maybe. Hal's consciousness, maybe. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that's 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 what happened post rebirth because you know all of this stuff was kind of in some ways retconned you know yeah i mean do you think would it have been worse or better if they had been like in rebirth and been like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no you were never like you know the the hand of god or whatever you were to you know that was just parallax messing with you the whole time i don't know i i kind of liked we got some really good stories from oh, yeah, the yeah. series and and I think it was handled really well in Rebirth, you know, mm-hmm. because, you know, one, rocking the power of the Spectre, you know, we get Coast City back. Yes. You know, not not the people of Coast City, but we get the actual the city, city yeah. back. Yeah. Um, and the point, the point, I think what, what Johns did that was really smart was, hey, the point of this series obviously is to bring back Hal Jordan, but the plot point is not to bring back Hal Jordan. The plot point is, Oh, there's a yellow fear bug called Parallax that's going, you know, going to eat everything, right? You know, be afraid. Well, well, that's a plot device too. So it's a yeah. lot, not like, oh yeah, Hal was just uh, weak and killed a killed a bunch of his fellow yeah. core members. It, uh, oh, he yeah. was he was possessed, you know. Yeah, of course, yes, yeah. because he can't have blood on his hands, right? I, I get that. But then making the uh, making the you know, oh hey, we've got to stop the fear bug. Hey, if we you know. Well, hey, if we bring if if this happens, you know, we we get Hal back as part of this story. And say what you want, it set up you know a decades worth of you know pretty much mythos defining Green Lantern stories. Oh you yeah, know? I mean the emotional spectrum. Yep. Mm-hmm. And what did it cost us? Well, I mean, and I look at it like this: Kyle getting the ring cost us the core, the mythos everything that I read Green Lantern for, Mm -hmm. right? You know, and granted, you know, we got some really good, solid stories from, you know, Ron Mars and and Daryl Banks. It's nearly seven years worth, right? Mm -hmm. But once, once, once Mars left the book, I think there was probably a push. I don't know if it was from fans or from editorial or from, you know, ghosts, who knows? (laughs) to start bringing back a lot of that stuff that we had lost, you know, because of Emerald Twilight, the core, hmm. the guardians, the central power battery, more than one ring, you know? Um, and I think that's really, now that's not to say that if Winnick's run would have sold gangbusters, it wouldn't have continued that way. But I, I think you and I've, you know, we've mentioned it on this many times before that yeah. Winnick's run was, is because we're still talking about it hasn't kind of lived up to, you know, what we hoped it would be. Oh, yeah. No. It just, yeah. (laughs) Again, again, was that that just a sign in last week in 150? It's like, oh, yeah, we got to give him a new costume. We got to throw in some flash, (laughs) something flash. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, I I think it was maybe, maybe editorial realizing that, you know, the success of Kyle was really the success of, you know, Mars and Banks. Yeah. And if it weren't for them, you know, doing such a, you know, great job for so many years that, you know, all that other stuff may have come back sooner. Who knows? Yeah. You know, and I wonder, I mean, we'll get into it the next, uh, you know, a bunch of episodes. But it's just like, I wonder if like when they start taking cow in the space, was that like kind of was there a push for that where it's like. Yeah, yeah, seals are down. We kind of got to get back to like some of the roots of Green Lantern, like some of the more cosmic. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, and I haven't read those issues coming up, so no. I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how it's going to, you know, play out because we've only got what another 11, 12 issues of Winnick. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what mm-hmm. is it, one sixty two or something? This is his last yep. one. Yeah. And then you know that leaves. 19 issues after that six of which are the final issues by ron marsh <laughs> oh uh, yes i know we're into the show we might have... this is comics illustrator oh, wait hold on uh wrong one all right here we go. <laughs> this is ron mars you are listening to the capes and lunatics mm-hmm. podcast we have so many friends kids i hit accidentally hit ron friends instead of ron mars and i never <laughs> and i just now realize i have two rons next to each other so <laughs> cool but yeah this this story I don't know. It 
feels a little bit out of place to me in this run of the specter. You know, it does. Some of those early stories were, I mean, they're profound. They're, yeah. they're really beautiful and moving. This seems, I mean, once it, it seems like a lot of, yeah, a lot of character developments, like we've mm-hmm. gone backwards and that now he's again, he's like, woe is me. And yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely not bad. Mm-hmm. It's, it's still good. It's a, it's a really well written, um, but it, it, it doesn't have some of the, pardon the pun, the magic of, you know, some of those first year, you know, year and a half of the series, yeah. at least in my mind. Yeah, I'm curious how he, how he's going to wrap this up because there's only what four issues left. Four issues left, yeah. yeah. And we're doing are we doing those next week or no, after? no, no? That's uh, I think the next two weeks we got Cal Rayner. The issue we're back to Cal Rayner. Uh, let's see, yeah, next week 151, 152 in two weeks, 153 through 155, yeah, and then in three weeks we'll do the last four. Or so, okay, cool, very cool. All right, so should we get out of here? I think so. All right, kids. So, yes, like I said, next week we'll be back with Cal Rayner, Green Lantern 151 and 152. So, email your thoughts or, hey, email us Spectre Thoughts. Uh, Capes and Lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614 382 2737. That's 614 38 Capes. And remember, you can find Sector 2814 on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, Find Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks on Instagram. Find Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network on Hive. Uh, our YouTube channel, uh, once again, good job on getting us the 269 subscribers. We're already past that on YouTube. So, a little help fire. Now the man's our next goal is 369. So, yes, please smash that subscribe button so uh, you don't miss a second of any of it. Because, like I said, Lilf demands it. Smash it! Uh, the Patreon... Uh, once again, this is our passion project. We're paying for this uh, all ourselves. So uh, every little bit helps. But three to five dollars gets you early access to creator interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats. I got the good mic out for you guys. Uh, all the previous episodes are up there. There's damn superhero movie brackets. There's old Star Trek uh, episodes, other movie reviews. Lil Hellfire just and I just today recorded this, that, or the third, where we just asked each other questions. So quite intriguing almost two hours so yes uh oh wow yes <laughs> so yeah you, yeah you guys are in for a treat all our patrons join the patreon elite <laughs> <laughs> and of course pick yourself up some capes and lunatics and capes and lunatics sidekicks merch find it all at linktree l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e slash capes and lunatics and ray i i am pretty you know will and i and we may be able to drag Macona back in for at least one one episode of the quantum zone on patreon this year so that'll be fun <laughs> so you better send in your feedback like you used to ray <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right mr will all red master of the core master of the quantum zone master of kickstarter and podcasting and everything else where can where can people talk to you you can find me at Walred. that's at w-a-l-l-r-e-d on twitter or gmail and facebook and probably instagram and i don't know lots of other places too um you can also find uh, my uh, self-published work via Kickstarter, uh, Crossover Division at crossoverdivision.com. Uh, the fourth issue is at the printer now, and hopefully we'll be finished printing within a couple of weeks, keeping my fingers crossed. Uh, you can also check out Diary of Night at diaryofnight.com. And uh, Phil is not the only podcaster that I annoy on a weekly basis. Uh, Kevin, Joseph, and I get together and host a show called Explain Yourself, where we bring on comic crowdfunding creators who have live projects and do our best to promote their their project that's a lot of fun and finally you obviously have great taste because you're listening to this show which means you probably love quasar as well and who doesn't so if you'd like to find out more about quasar you can check out the quantum zone at quantumzone.org hey boys you look at the party i love the party i hope it's going somewhere nice (laughs) they aren't even attempting to enter our orifices Ah, the Marvel comic. I Marvel am comic. God. Who does the Spectre work for? I am God. <laughs> he works for me. Uh, <laughs> seems like I'm getting a package every other day. All right, <laughs> kitties. Thanks for joining us again. We're back with more uh, Judd Winnick, Cal Rayner, Green Lantern next week, the next two weeks, and then we'll close out this Spectre run.
And then it's just uh, pretty much a sprint to the end, except for there's a few, um, there's a few little things like the, after the Spectre week, there's uh, the JLA Spectre Soul War, Cosmic uh, Odyssey. Yeah, the one week we're doing Cosmic Odyssey with the Green Lantern issues. Uh, oh, and then we're doing that JLA Avengers crossover at the end of March. So that's right. But besides yep. that, yeah, there's, there's not too much more besides the Green Lantern issues. So. Yes, Rebirth is coming, kids. All right, join us next week, and remember. What? What? Don't give in the fake rivalries. Good night.